everybody, this is Big Al over here at Paler. Let's do a drawing exercise using Polar Tracking and Polar Snap. Uh, let's start by putting an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, setting some limits over here. So let's pick up a rectangle and let's go 0, 0, 0, 0, enter, 11, 8.5, enter, there it is. How do we zoom it? We go up to View, See View, click View, slide over to the Navigate window, Extents, Zoom Extents, there it is, there's an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Now I want to start with some points on here, so let's pick up Line, so let's go to Home, and pick up line and let's go um, 3 comma 2 that's a good place to begin there's our starting point right there now we got to set up for polar so let's go down into polar turn it on that's good so polar's turned on now let's right click polar let's select 30 degrees good and that's about all we can do right there let's right click and let's go into settings settings okay so we selected 30 degrees the increment uh, we want a new angle of 45, which is actually 135, 90 and 45 is 135. So make this 135, enter. Okay, so that's done. Uh, what else we need? We need to set our distance. So let's go over into polar tracking. And uh, wait a minute, snap and grid. Polar distance right there. Let's set that to, um, uh, oops, set come out of grid and go to polar snap okay so go to polar snap and now set your snap to 0.5 okay oops let me go back and keep an eye on that now let's go back and check okay so 130 135 that's 30 that's good that's good that's good go over here that's good that's good that's good uh, pull the snap, everything looks good, hit OK, boop, and now I guess we're all set. So let's start out with a line, say, 5 inches long. So we go 5, enter, okay, now watch, going for 30, there it is. How long is it? Well, direct entry, right, just go on the keyboard, 1.5, enter, okay, give us some direction, we're going straight up in the air, how much? 2.5, 2.5, enter. We get up here and let's give it some direction. This time we're looking at 45 degrees. That's not it because that's 90 and 30 is 120. We need 135, which is 45 degrees, right? So now go to enter and then go straight across four and a half from the keyboard. You get over here, come down, 30 degrees is good. Okay, that's 210, right? 90 and 30 is 210. Um, the distance is 2. Come straight down from there. How much? 2.5 will do. And then let's go over and close. Now, if you can't close, just turn on snap. Snap, and it will close. Right click, enter. There we have it. Now, let's go up to um, annotation panel. Uh, I have Angular already showing. You may have anything showing. Uh, click the down arrow. Uh, you may have any one of these icons showing. Uh, right now we're going to select Angle. So Angle will be in the box. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to click here first. Left click. Left click. And what is that angle? 30 degrees. Right click to repeat everything. Mm -hmm. Left click. Left click get up here someplace and there's that 45 degrees right click left click left click left click and as you can see if I get over here 30 and guess what that last angle is going to be those of you who are up on your math already know I guess right click here we go take a guess bets down ladies and gentlemen okay oops sorry about that and 49 degrees it is and that's how that's done okay so this is big al over here at paler okay have fun with polar tracking and polar drawing